Good afternoon, you lovely people. Right, it's Stevie from Clean and Fresh Wales again, and I just wanted to uh, bring you a video uh, based on carpet cleaning. Now, we do loads of videos, and a lot of these videos are repeated, but it's really good to keep on doing these for all the people that haven't seen uh, what the videos are about and what Clean and Fresh are about. Then uh, it's quite it's good for you guys because uh, if you're new to it, then you can see what kind of procedures we do, whether that's myself explaining them uh, by just talking you, or whether it's explaining them when we do more in depth video, when we're actually doing carpet cleaning or oven cleaning. Now, I'm gonna to talk to you today uh, just on carpet cleaning. Now, it's gonna be a little tip in here as well for you guys, because I'm sure that all of you are familiar with this. You spill something on your carpet and or your sofa, and what's the first thing you guys do? You rub it in. Now, all right, it's initial instinct. You think, right, I need to get rid of that stain or mark or whatever it is because they've just spilled something. When you're rubbing it in, let me assure you guys, all you're doing is making it worse for yourself. Have you ever come across a situation where you've spilled something on the carpet, maybe a cup of tea, uh, maybe innocent bit, bit of squash, anything like that? You've rubbed it in, you've got it off the surface, uh, you think, oh yeah, it's gone, it's resolved, and you look at the carpet, it looks great. The next day you get up, or a day or two later, all of a sudden, that's strange, the stains reappeared. There's a good reason behind that, it's because you've pushed it further into the carpet. So you pushed it through the carpet into the underlay. So the top of the carpet is drying before the underlay dries. So then when the underlay starts to dry, it starts penetrating that stain or liquid back through the carpet and then it leaves a stain again. Now with tea and stuff like that, they can be quite punctuant. So uh, believe it or not, they do stain a lot more than quite a lot of other stains out there, to be honest. And they can maybe not come up the first time. Uh, but by, by you doing what you're doing, you are making it worse. But when you call someone like ourselves, we have got wonderful products uh, to get rid of tea, coffee and a multitude of different spillages, stains, whatever you might call them. But my tip here for you guys uh, is if you do spill something on your carpet or your sofa, the best thing you can do is go and get a little bowl, get uh, a sponge, one of those sponges we wash our dishes with. But you don't want the abrasive side, you want the nice soft sponge which will absorb water and so forth. Put that over the area where uh, the fluid is, uh, push the sponge down gently, pick it up, drain it off into the bucket or bowl, whatever you got. Repeat those steps uh, about five or six times or until there is no fluid coming out. At that time then, go and pour that down your sink. Then uh, the best thing to do, put a bit of, you can put a bit of washing liquid, it's not going to hurt, but a bit of, um, you know, if you've got some gel you use to put in your washing machine, put a little bit of that and put some warm water with it. And then what you want to do then is wash that sponge out thoroughly before you use it again. Put that sponge into that warm water, the soapy water, so that it emerges, it sucks the water up into the sponge. Squeeze that sponge over the area so that it gets quite wet. And then what you want to do then, repeat the first steps that I said. So you put that sponge over the area, you don't rub it, you just push down gently on it so it absorbs the fluid, squeeze it into the bowl, repeat those steps about uh, six or seven times, and then tip the water out, go and repeat it again, put some fresh water in there, and put, uh, or save you wasting the water you just put in. If you can get two little bowls or something like that, so you can put the dirty bowl in one bowl, then that'd be a way to do it as well. But you just wanna keep that water clean, so you repeat that uh, second step again, put the sponge in the clean water, squeeze it over the surface where all the fluid is, then put the sponge on top, just push a little bit of pressure on it so it absorbs up. Repeat that seven or eight times as you're draining it out. And then right at the end, once you've repeated those steps, uh, if need to be then, you can get yourself uh, like an old tea towel, lay it onto the surface and give it a light little rub there to finish off. You don't need to put any pressure on it, just a light little rub. And what you'll find is the innocence of stains then will come out and you won't be left with a watermark. Because what usually happens is you guys scrub and scrub and scrub and scrub. You might be lucky, like I said, to get off the surface and then it reappears a, a week later. Or even worse, you scrub it and all of a sudden you're left with this watermark. So uh, to prevent that, you can get the innocence of stains out repeating the steps that I've told you. But nonetheless, if that don't work for you, and um, pardon me, you've got some other stains in the carpet that you want out and you need a professional company like ourselves, Clean and Fresh Wheels, to undertake this task for you. As I said, we've got many, many different products and we got, if you've got pets, like I personally got a cat and he urinated over the carpet a couple of years ago, I got a chemical to neutralize that so then we can draw it out of the carpet, out of the underlay, and we put this chemical on it and what it does, it actually eats its way through the carpet, through the underlay, and kills it completely. 
So then the uh, nice fragrance that you smell with this particular chemical, once that's done its job and that smell goes, there'll be no smell after, which is good because you can't even smell the animal urine. The other additives that we put into carpets and when we're cleaning carpets uh, is in deodorizers and stuff like that to freshen the carpet up. That will linger around for quite a bit because it's a nice smell, the carpet smells fresh. Like when you put your clothes in the washing machine, you want them smelling fresh when they come out. Well, that's why we leave your carpet. So we've got many products to get rid of many, many stains. And you know, we can get rid of like rust stains uh, from radiators. We got a nice chemical, which is quite new actually. And we've started using that as well, new to us. And it's really good for getting rid of uh, rust out of carpets. Uh, we got some then that can break down uh, like bits of like when you get slime uh the kids my kids love the slime and they've got it everywhere i'm sure a lot of you can relate to this uh but yeah we can get rid of that so there's a lot of stains we can get out as i've said i've always kept it real i've not lied to anyone any carpet cleaner company out there which i say to you we can get out 100 percent of your stains they are lying uh sometimes i even shock myself we come out and uh we think to ourselves, well, some of this is not going to come out, and we end up getting it all out. And in some cases, we get 95, maybe 97, 98% out, and the other 2 or 3% don't come out. Uh, it depends on what the stain is, how long it's been in the carpet, and what you've done in the process with the stain. So it's a lot of contributing factors, but on the whole, we will get over 95% of your stains out, which is, you know, really, really good when you think about it. But in some cases, we can get them all out, depending on what they are. Uh, quality of carpet comes into it as well guys you know uh, i don't mean to uh rag anyone out here but if you have got a cheap carpet then uh the stains can be quite a nightmare and they're not saying we can't get them out of there because we can most stains but like anything uh when you like a cheap oven uh everything clings to it and uh it makes our life a little bit harder but anyway nothing's impossible but it's just realistic with what we can get out and some cases you can get everything out in some cases you can't but i've always said to you guys i'd like to be real and honest with you because i would hate to be on these videos and say to you 110 percent are we going to get everything out because i would be lying and sometimes it happens and we can and sometimes we can't it just depends on the contributing factors that i've said so if you're looking for a professional carpet cleaning company uh Look no further, we're the company for you. Uh, we do both commercial and domestic. We've got different machines. we got the Big Boy Tasky Pro 30, uh, which you, if anyone's seen the videos, you've probably seen that in the pubs and clubs. And then we've got all the other little machines then to go into the domestic homes, but all the machinery we've got is professional machinery. All the chemicals we've got are, are professional chemicals. They're not the typical things that you buy in a supermarket because frankly, do they work? No. Uh, you cannot beat the industrial chemicals and that's why you guys cannot get them on the shelves because uh, otherwise you'd all be cleaning your own carpets. Uh, not quite that easy, you'd all have to go on a course of course. But uh, anyway, so if you're looking for a professional carpet clean and you want a company you can trust, then pop on here. Uh, have a look at the reviews guys. I always encourage you to look at the reviews of genuine customers from day to day that have been happy with the service we provide and we wouldn't have it any other way. The best thing for us is to make sure you're happy before we leave the property and before you actually pay the, your hard earned money out. So if you are looking to get your carpets cleaned pop on your inboxes today i've waffled on enough guys it's thursday friday tomorrow weekend simple as this enjoy eat drink have fun